Hey everybody, welcome to Avamax Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady Lair, and today we're gonna tie a Euro style buckskin. It's a great little fly. Uh, it's really just basically a weighted down buckskin. Get you into the zone a little bit quicker than the traditional pattern might. Tying it on a Umqua specialty hook. This is the C450 BL, great jig hook with an extra wide gape on it there. And then we slid on our tungsten slotted bead. This is an oversized bead for this size hook. I'm tying a 16 today. And this is the 2.4 millimeter um, or, I'm sorry, 2.8 millimeter in the 764 size. And then the first thing we're gonna add is some lead wire. I'm using the 010 lead wire today. It's a nice small gauge wire, which allows me to get quite a few wraps on here and then we can tuck it up and in to the bead. So we're gonna cover basically the whole hook shank before we go ahead and break off our end. Make a nice clean point here at the back end as well. And then we can slide that up and into our slotted tungsten bead. That to lay flat nicely there we go and then from there we can start our thread right behind that lead just some quick locking wraps and add our chamois cloth we went ahead and trimmed up our chamois cloth I like using the uh, Dr. Swick razor scissors for this because they have the nice long blades on them and it makes it real easy to get a nice thin strip of chamois. When you're cutting this, remember there's a couple different aspects to the chamois cloth. If you pull the material one way, it'll be nice and stretchy. When you pull the material the other way, it's a little bit stiffer. So you want to cut down the stretchy side and then I will give you a nice piece of material to tie in. So the first thing I do before I go to tie this in is I'll take my fingernails and just strip it down slightly, kind of minimize the bulk that we'll be adding underneath and just thin out that material a little bit. And then we can come in and sneak it right behind where that lead wire ends, helps our transition there. And then I like to take my thread on this hook with that nice wide gape, it allows you to kind of go down a little bit further than you might traditionally and creates a little bit of curvature to this pattern. We'll take our thread on up, go ahead and cover up all of our lead here nicely. So we want this to lay fairly flat as we go. So we'll start our first wrap there and then just touching as we go forward right up to where that bead is. And then we can go ahead and capture that material off. Just snug it down nicely, a couple behind, a couple in front, and then we can clip that material out nice and close. You'll see you get a little bit of a bump, so I always just try and come in and capture right in the middle of that, helping lock it in place. And then we'll do a nice quick collar for our peacock curl, our next material here. It was a really effective fly for me in the kind of the um, dusk and dawn periods of the day is when I fish this most and I have the most success. And those caddis larvae kind of crawling around, moving around towards the bottom of the, the river. This is a good point in the day to see good success with this fly. The weight on it really helps you get it down to where you need to be nice and quickly. Fish this on a Euro setup without having to worry about adding weight. Do it that traditional style where your flies are your weight to get into the proper zone. 
This fly has really brought me a lot of success in the past. So we'll tie in that peacock curl just like we would traditionally. Go ahead and half hitch real quick. Draw our thread on the bobbin cradle and wrap our peacock curl forward. I'm gonna do this about five times on this pattern. First wrap is always a nice delicate wrap because it's the most opportunity for this material to break. We can go a little bit quicker as we go on up. Sneak one more in there. And then go ahead and capture that with our thread. behind, couple in front, trim out that excess. There we go. And then give this fly a half hitch or a whip finish rather. And you're all done. A nice simple pattern to tie. You can fill your box quickly with these and it is sure to put some fish in the net for you.